The revamped Champions League will feature a significant expansion with the number of participating teams increasing from 32 to 36. This change aims to bring more diversity and competition to the tournament, allowing more clubs from different leagues to showcase their talent on the grand stage. This expanded format introduces a league phase where each team will play eight matches against a diverse range of opponents. This means fans will get to see more varied matchups, creating a richer and more unpredictable tournament experience. Gone is the traditional group stage format where teams played six matches within their designated groups. Instead, the new format ensures that each team faces a wider array of opponents, making every match crucial and exciting. Under the new system, teams will be ranked in a single league table based on their performance in the eight league phase matches. This ranking will determine their progression in the tournament, adding a strategic element to each game. The top eight teams in the table will automatically qualify for the round of 16, ensuring that the best performers get a direct path to the knockout stages. Meanwhile, teams finishing 9th to 24th will battle it out in two-legged playoffs to secure their place in the knockout stages. This playoff system adds another layer of drama and opportunity for teams to prove their worth. This new format ensures that more teams remain in contention for longer, adding an extra layer of intrigue and excitement to the competition. Fans can look forward to more thrilling matches and unexpected outcomes, making the Champions League more captivating than ever before. The shift from the traditional group stage to the league phase represents a fundamental change in the Champions League structure, altering the way teams compete and strategize. Previously, teams knew their group stage opponents in advance, allowing for targeted preparation and analysis, which helped in formulating specific game plans and tactics. The new format, however, introduces an element of unpredictability as teams will face a wider range of opponents determined by a draw based on seeding and coefficient rankings, making it harder to predict match outcomes. Another significant difference lies in the number of matches which has been increased to accommodate the new league phase. The expanded format means more games for fans to enjoy with the potential for increased revenue for clubs through ticket sales, broadcasting rights and merchandise. However, it also raises concerns about player workload and fixture congestion, particularly for teams competing in multiple competitions, which could lead to fatigue and injuries. The impact of these changes on player welfare and the overall competitive balance of European football remains to be seen, as clubs and governing bodies will need to adapt to this new format. The expanded format brings several potential benefits. Firstly, it guarantees more matches for fans who crave the thrill of Champions League nights. With 36 teams vying for glory, the league phase promises a captivating spectacle of diverse playing styles and tactical battles. This increased exposure could also benefit smaller clubs and those from emerging leagues, offering them valuable experience and financial rewards. Secondly, the new format maintains a pathway for teams that may not perform consistently throughout the league phase. The playoffs for positions 9 to 24 offer a lifeline and a chance to redeem themselves, ensuring that the race for the Champions League title remains open and unpredictable. This element of second chances could lead to dramatic turnarounds and captivating storylines throughout the competition. 